Hi everybody, it's Wanda. Um, so this is a painting that I did using my glue mixture. Um, I think I mixed mine up 60-40. 60% glue, 40% water, and the way I did that was I put six ounces of glue and four ounces of water into a water bottle and shook it up. And I just felt like it really, I mean, these were bright colors as you can tell by the dots. And look how it faded everything out. So I just really wasn't all that pleased with it. I didn't particularly love the design, but um, more than anything, I just didn't like the fact that it faded out as much as it did. So I'm going to pour over it. So this is another what if video. What if I mix up my white like you do for a cloud pour and use it kind of as a base coat instead of a plain white. So this is um, half white with half, or close to half of the Deco Art Satin, um, like Melly d has been using to get her cloud effect. And I just kind of want to pour it on as a base coat. And I don't know if having it too thin is gonna I don't know if I've got it too thin or not, but um, the other paints are pretty thin. So maybe I should thin it just a tad more. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. I didn't keep any of that for my cup, but that's okay. As you can see, it's still not super thin, because when it's super thin, it runs all the way, all, all over the place. So, it's gonna get most of it covered. I'm going to layer, these are, I believe, all three Craft Smarts. I'm not positive about the pink, but I think that's what it is. This is the tart apple green, um, the light yellow, and a bright pink. And I think these are summertime spring flower colors. So I'm gonna put the pink and then the yellow and then the green. See what happens. Pink and green may not look too good up against each other. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if this will give me one of those opal kind of pours. If you've watched Gina DeLuca and seen her doing her opal. I kind of wonder if that's what I'll get. Go ahead and empty that. It just made me wonder, so I thought, what if? I don't want to just pour this across. Guess I'll just flip it. Just flip it. Lost a little bit, not too much. Pop that bubble. Get everything out of whack here if I'm not careful. do have some bubbles. No silicone in anything. Hmm. 
may not get too much interaction between this paint and that base coat, and that base coat might be wasted now. I just don't know. We'll just stretch it out and see. It's funny, it's like the colored paint is sitting on top of the other It's just really flowing right over the top of it. It is sitting right on top of it. Look at that. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. This is going to look really weird because I can see a ridge right there where that white white paint is. And I know that's what it is. It's that white paint. It's like it's got a totally different almost dimension to it. Bet you can see that. And this looks real gravelly, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt that off. See if I get more bubbles popping up and then see what happens. Get some more off. That, that paint with the color in it has just literally floated on top of that white. And still is floating around on top of the white. Let's see if I can get some more of those to pop up. I just really do not believe that this ridge that I'm seeing right through here was in that original painting. Now, had it, I mean, it could have been, and I just hadn't noticed it. Um, this is interesting in all the white that's popping through now. around the edges. Hmm. Very bizarre. So bizarre, so bizarre.
wonder if this water bottle has any. Let's see what happens if I drop a drop of water on it. What if? It's boomerang shaped. So it didn't make a fractal, which is what I was hoping for. I'm wondering if some more is gonna pop through. Some more white's gonna pop through. I'm gonna tilt some more off this end since I have some more wanting to move. and it's gonna pull the other white down. Just see what happens. Ooh, you know what this makes me want to do? It makes me want to pick up the spray bottle and start spraying. Maybe I won't. It's definitely odd looking. So this is what happens when you mix up Melly D's recipe for or cloud effect and use it as a base coat. It is rather interesting. I like the shadow effect that's all around this white. There's almost a shadow effect at the edge of it. So I'm digging that. Definitely different. I don't know. Looks almost like snowfall. That bright pink sure is a pretty color. Pretty sure that's a Craft Smart paint. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'll bring you in close, let you see the whole thing, and uh, give you a close up of it. And y'all tell me what you think. It certainly was a what if, that's for sure. Okay, looking from the bottom, I would call it the bottom where there's the least amount of white, and then going up. See how the shadow effect is underneath all that? Like around all of the white areas, it's almost like a shadow all around it. So, looks like snowfall almost. I kind of dig this. That up in there almost looks like flowers, like white flowers. So, it was fun. It was entertaining, and now I know. So thanks for watching. Okay, I wanted to show you what happened when this dried. It's fully dry now, and I got a lot of cracking. Now remember, this is the one that was painted over the pour that was using the glue and water pouring medium that I made up. And I wanna show it to you. Um, because it really cracked bad. And for some reason, the lighting is not showing too much, even though it's fairly light here. I'm right by my French door with the light coming in. But you can see there are a lot of cracks and it's actually showing the painting that was underneath it. So this is the reason that I don't use a glue pouring medium most of the time, because I do pour over a lot of paintings. 
especially since I started posting a video every day and I don't want to go out and buy new canvas all the time for that so I just pour over ones that I'm not that happy with so I want to show you that and then show you the difference in it and the way that was the one that I just did on another video was poured on Floetrol and this was using a Floetrol mixture and it was a pour over the one underneath it was a Floetrol mixture and you can see there's no cracking so for that simple reason right there if you are good enough that when you get finished with a painting, if you know for sure that you're going to keep it and you're never going to pour over it, then you could use glue. But if you're like me and you decide later, um, well, I changed my mind on this one. I think I'm going to pour over it now. Then just beware that you could get cracking. And I brought these upstairs where it's warm. My heater was running. I had it right next to the heat vent. And it dried fast. And some people might think that it was because it dried too fast. Um, maybe I'll do another one. I have another painting down there that is um, had a glue pouring medium. So maybe I'll do another one that's a pour over and leave it in the basement where it's cooler and let it dry slower and see what happens. But right now, I just wanted to show you what happened to this painting. So thanks for watching.